So I'm Sam Sumter and I'm the greenhouse manager here at KU. So basically I just make sure that all of the greenhouses work for all of the PhD students and faculty, as well as take care of our teaching collection. So the corpse flower, which is also known as the Titan Arum, is one of the largest flowers in the world and has the largest non-branching inflorescence. It is native to only a really small area in Sumatra that has a shrinking natural habitat. So the cultivation in greenhouses like this is one of the only ways that it's actually kept going. And they take an extremely long time to bloom. Ours is actually quite young, it's only around seven years old, but normally it takes 10 to 15 years before they shoot up their first flower. So actually, outside of KU, there's only a few places in the Midwest where you can go to see one in bloom. The next closest would be K-State, but other than that, you pretty much have to go to Chicago or St. Louis in order to even see one. And they flower so infrequently that it's a really like exciting time when it does happen. So one of the big and exciting steps when it finally opens is actually pollinating the plant. So we were lucky enough to get pollen donated to us from K-State, but unfortunately, it opens at around midnight, so I'll be coming in at about 1 o'clock in the morning in order to pollinate it. And it's a very delicate process where I have to actually cut a window in the side of the plant and pollinate all of the female flowers on the inside by hand, before then making a cone out of aluminum foil to then collect the male pollen the next morning. And you can see in the middle the large corpse flower, but the two tree-looking plants on either side are actually also corpse flowers just going through the vegetative phase of their life cycle. So each of those leaves, because each one of those trees is actually just a singular leaf, will stay alive for about a year to 18 months before dying back and going into a dormancy period for a few months. And then after that, they'll either repeat the vegetative cycle again or go into the reproductive cycle, which is what produces the flower.